Hello and welcome to the Xamarin DevBlog update. I'm going to be going over the application I've been working on recently um, called the Employee Punch Clock app. Um, as you can see here on the left side, I'm also using Google's Firebase cloud storage to handle stuff like creating accounts um, and all retrieving and saving data. Okay, so we'll jump a little bit into the application. Just note that this app is still in development stages. So this could look a little bit different a couple months from now. Okay, so we're greeted by this login page here, and there's actually two ways you can log in, either through the, your, the email or a phone number. So we can click on phone number here, and we actually have one example phone number that we can input, and it's actually gonna send a code to that phone number, which then um, the user can enter, and that will sign them into their account. Another way is you can also sign in just through email as well. And I actually have two test emails set up here. If you wanna sign into this app using the test email as well, you can totally go ahead. The email is test at test.com and the password is test123. Uh, real quick as well, there's also a forgot password button. If I were to click that, it's gonna open up another page, which then I can enter an email and then basically it's gonna send an email to my inbox where I can then reset my password. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and enter in those details there, test at test.com and then the password test123. Okay, I'm gonna click login. It's gonna sign me into my app and it's actually going to be um you can also see the application in real time through the firebase um cloud storage um using the analytics tab here which is quite nice okay i'm going to just click clock in just it's going to start recording my time and we're going to see here that this timer is going to begin to go up and it's also going to give me a the time in which i clocked in at as well so the cool thing is is that this is actually going to keep track of all the times per the employee so for instance um throughout the entire two week pay cycle for every day that they clock in, the employee is actually going to be able to see when they clocked in, when they started, when they ended, and the total amount of time that they were clocked in for. As well as at the bottom here, it's going to give me an earnings amount. So this is based off the Ontario minimum wage amount, which I believe is fourteen twenty-five at the current time. And if when I click clock out, it's actually going to display how much money I've earned um, throughout the day based off that minimum wage. Okay, so I, let's do that. So I'm just going to click clock out. And it's going to say that I've only earned about 12 cents today. And again, if this were to go for an hour, it would give me 1425. Okay, so this is the time page. Let's head over to the summary tab here. And the summary tab is set up uh, a little bit differently. So basically at the top here, we have a current pay period estimate. This is going to be the estimate for the, uh, I guess, current pay period, which I have currently set to default 20. Um, there's also a payment date for this period, which right now isn't set to anything because this is still, like I said, in development stages. So there's uh, really no payment date um, set up yet. And then the pay statement at the very bottom here, which is going to display the two week pay cycle, which is currently from February 24th to March 6th. Um, again, that minimum rate amount. And then this bar here that fills up the more, um, I guess, uh, money is accumulated through that two week pay period. Okay. Um, besides that, that's pretty much going to be the application. This has just been a quick overview. Again, this is still in development stages, so there's still going to be a lot more to come. If you're here for my portfolio as well, feel free to go down into the project description and read a little bit more about it. Along with that, if you found this video on YouTube, you can click down into the description and I'll bring it to my portfolio so you know what I'm talking about. Okay, um, I hope you enjoyed and that's pretty much going to be it. Bye-bye.